Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy, not the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough. Today, we're going on our next retaliation site mission, and it's a bit weird, I feel like, in this game, because in XCOM 1, well, the uh, XCOM enemy unknown and enemy within, retaliation missions, or, um, I don't know what they were called originally again, kind of forgot, but those were horrifying they were really really scary but i feel like in this game the further you get the easier it starts to get as well so we'll see about how we'll do we're taking not our a squad but instead we're taking erica marina the spark unit hilda emily and elena so uh before that i should probably upgrade the chassis of the spark unit i have the supplies and i'm almost at my um my next supply drop so we might as well go for the anodized chassis there we go that should make our look at that bells and whistles she looks really really nice the last thing i really need to show off is of course we were using the warlock's rifle on hilda over here so finally i haven't forgotten to actually select it it has the same base damage as a plasma rifle but of course has all the upgrades equipped as well so here we go and we're dropping in hot on the uh, Eastern Ridge in Europe, going down. Uh, and the, the noise the Spark Unit makes when the, she drops. I tried to actually give the Spark Unit a female voice, One of those chosen is leading but there's no option for it. Encampment in this area. Our people are doing what they can to fight back, but we need to help protect the civilians trapped nearby. Okay, and I'm really looking forward to getting that sniper rifle, by the way. Hunkered down not far from your position. Move in and help fend off the attacking alien forces. Okay, so we got friendly resistance forces again as before. I'm gonna try to move... This actually looks really similar to one of the previous, if not exactly the same. That lower A on the right and this building and then a church, if I recall correctly. Yeah, this is definitely a church, so... This seems like a redo, but uh, you know what? Guess we'll do fine. Uh, I did bring a lesser experienced soldiers on this mission, lesser experienced Valkyries. So I'm hoping we'll be fine, or maybe I'll just blow my own head off. Uh, guess we'll see. Okay, we see movement. The Archon comes out of his hiding place. And there seems to be another one in the back there. And I think, did they spot us or not? I think they must have. And then we get chrysalids on the left. Ooh, there we go. Charging in. They don't seem to be burrowing, which is good. Um, ooh, yeah. Why did you do that, Su Jing Jong? <laughs> that was not good. At least she uh, gets a hit in. And then another movement. I think... Shouldn't you guys be protecting those civilians over there? I think they buffed the damage of the resistance fighters as well, because they do more than they did before. Now, we need to take a shot at the Archons in the back there. Can I see them? I think we can, right? Ooh, wow. Um, you can see the one on the right, but there's... Yeah, this one is out of sight, but because of uh, Elena's abilities, we can actually still see it. Uh, we can't see that second chrysalid, so that's going to be a bit more annoying. Let's see, if I move Elena over here, she should not be burning, I think. No. I so let's move down. her a little bit closer. You will never hide from me. And everybody is spotted now, so we have two chrysalids and two archons. Okay. So that means, first things first, let's move... The Archons haven't spotted me yet, so that's why they're in that position. They haven't fired at the civilians either, which is interesting. So let's first give Blackjack a shot. Although I am currently using the Spark unit as full cover, so that might not be that good. I think it's a bit early to start using heavy weapons, so I'm just going to start... I can fire at the Chrysalid, but that's basically the only thing I can do. So, that means first things first, I should probably just fire away with Erica. And fire at that Archon in the back there with squad sight. Even with the tracer rounds, that was only 68%, but we did get a hit. Which means we've now triggered the Archons. Or not, we already triggered them apparently. Okay, interesting. And that means I could technically just lay down... 
a claymore. But we we can't forget about the uh, the chrysalids either. So let's just move the spark unit a little bit closer. I'm compelled to agree. There we go, and now we can fire basically anything. 69, 66. I can't see the back one because the tree is in the way. But 69, that's just not a kill. Um, should probably go for the easy fix then and just kill this one. That is so loud. An efficient kill. That is really, really loud. Okay. Um, then, next up. Emily. Emily has... I think she has implacable already. No, she has untouchable. Okay. So as long as I do get a kill, Emily is able to survive. Let's give her running gun. Because she needs to, indeed, haul ass. Put it over here in full cover. Solid copy. And then we'll see what we'll be able to do. I don't think we'll be able to kill that full health um, Archon. And it's basically the one closest to us. So that's no good. But we do get... I can take a shot from Shadow with Sting. Um, so if I do that on... I should probably do that on the chrysalid so he's weakened. Yeah, let's do that. Sting. Oh, and well, we missed an 89% shot. Okay, that should indeed not happen. But Sting does not remove uh, concealment, so that is good. I'm going to put Marina over here. I think I will not be able to fire at those guys from over here, so... I'm going to try. Let's put it over here to see if we get a better shot. But I don't... We get a shot at one of the Archons, but it's a really, really bad shot. Um, Hilda can move closer as well, but I think if I put it over here, the tree is going to be in the way. She can actually give a bomb made action to... Ooh. That's actually not bad. But I can combat protocol one of the Archons. Okay, let's keep that in the back for now. Marina should probably just try that shot on the Archons. Or how far can I put my flashbang? I can actually flashbang over there. Which won't kill them, of course, but it will disable their abilities. And if I can uh, avoid getting uh, an airstrike on my ass, that would be nice. So let's just do that first. Blammo. Oh, we even got four damage on that closest Archon. Which is pretty nice with the critical. And then we get Hilda's shot is now almost a kill. But not entirely. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. And... Ooh, that's the first time we saw that firing. It still looks kind of like a laser rifle. The effect of it. And then our final shot. Yeah, it's definitely our final shot. Don't know if this will kill him. It might if the crit chance was really high. With the Talon rounds, maybe. Here we go. We'll see. No, it was even a dodge. So uh, that means two Archons are still alive. They are disoriented, so they won't be able to use uh, their fancy abilities. But they will be able to shoot... Okay, they missed the mech. Disorientation works. Disorientation works. I don't know what he's doing. He's uh, huddling around the corner. Moving back again. I think that was a second move, right? No. No, he can still fire. And they missed again. I think they're trying to fire at civilians. But then the chrysalid. Oh, the chrysalid spotted Elena. But of course, I'm going to assume the mech is immune to poison. <laughs> that would be weird otherwise. I don't know what's going on. It's freezing up. Ah, there we go. And even the chrysalid missed. Yeah. Don't worry about it, Spark Unit. We did get one damage on Su Jing Yong. Because of the burn. Uh, please don't spread the burn, by the way. There we go. That's one hit. It's a dodge, but I think the Spark Unit can now finish that off. And definitely after that, that was another dodge. Okay. That's good. That's good. I think we're, we basically saved this batch of civilians now. So let's just uh, 
take matters into our own hands. Let the spark unit... I'm gonna have to give her a name. Because this is... This is just too impersonal. Hello, Chrysalid. Let me put that in your face. Oh, wow. That was a dodge. And I can't fire again. Okay. So let's put Marina a little bit closer. Her cannon shots. How well are they doing right now against the Archons? Not that great. Okay, so let's just fire at the Chrysalid and kill it. There we go. Now, Elena has been revealed. Yeah, we saw that. Um, Elena has been revealed either way. I can actually use the full cover of the Spark unit over here to put Hilda a little bit further. Then from here we can fire at that Archon. Um, is that the same one that Erica can fire at? That was another dodge. Nope, indeed. Another graze. Um... I think I should probably be able to kill the Archon right now. I don't want to risk moving her too much closer. And I don't think the shots will change all that much. I could put it over here. here. Let's hope that doesn't trigger anything else. Otherwise, it's been completely my fault. But 89%. Come on. Oh, God. And that's another dodge. But we get a hair trigger action. Okay, that's good. I'm going to try that again. <laughs> Bye. There we go, the full 14 damage, finally, because Archons are just so hard to hit. Um, Erica can't see anything from over here, so I think... Can I put it on top of the roof here? That should give us some nice sight lines, as you can't fire in this turn anyway. So let's put it on the roof. And then I can move... Uh, Elena a little bit closer over here. I will go. And have her fire at that remaining Archon. Like this. 85. 85. Come on. Get going. Ah, there we go. Animation started. Blammo. Return to your gods. Indeed. The resistance team is in the clear. They're moving to help the other survivors. There's a large group of civilians pinned down within range of your position. Sensors indicate hostile forces are closing in fast. We need to get in there before the aliens slaughter those people. So the resistance fighters are uh, running forwards. They can actually run pretty far. That is quite the distance they can uh, surpass there. And now, where are the rest of the aliens? They're going to start showing themselves now. Yeah, Sue has seen better days. Ah, she's no longer burning, but somebody breaks the window. I'm going to suppose... Oh, wow. Oh, that's not good. It's going to split up. <laughs> oh, like that, we're going to have an all, a whole army of clones in a minute. Okay. Fair enough. We need to move forward as well. So next turn, the distance was uh, quite significant, so I couldn't overcome that in one turn. So let's see. Resistance activity. They're firing up top at a Spectre. That's six damage I'm going to take. They don't seem to care all that much. And that's one of the... Okay. That's one of the copies already. Taken out in one fell swoop. So that is... That's not five enemies down yet because the other... Oh, that is probably not a good idea. Something invisible is enraged. And there we go, another shot, probably on that same... Oh no, chrysalids. Six damage. These guys pack a punch, by the way. And there's a lot of them, since we saved those original two as well. Ah, that one's gonna split now as well. Come on, people, pay attention. Use your flashbangs first. The time for hiding is over. Okay, so that guy moves over there. And we see the Berserker and those two codexes. But we do get a sniper shot, because <laughs> look at that range! Hey, there we go, Codex down from the other side of the map. Yeah, that was impressive. And we have an autoloader on Erica as well, so I could technically also put Killzone on. The only thing I'm really afraid of is I don't know where the Hunter is. 
I feel like the hunter should be popping up in a minute. Okay, so now we need to approach the building. But of course, we don't really know where they are just yet. We killed the one enemy that we could see. Uh, so let's put Elena over here. If she spots something while walking, she'll also mark it. Huh, nothing just yet. But if I put her over here, inside of the building, she might be able to see something. My life is in your hands. And... Nothing. Oh no, no, faceless, 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 okay. That's fine. They always go for XCOM, I've uh, been told. And of course, we've been revealed now. Um, but I think if I put Sparky over here... This unit is relatively agile. <laughs> Relative. So I did change the voice to a Julian. How the hell do you not see that thing? Um, okay. I'm gonna have to put a few people on Overwatch, I feel like. Um, but... Emily, our real Valkyrie over here. Let's put it over here. Finally. Right next to the tree. Does she get sight? No, she doesn't. Um, but what I can do is pull a little bit of the attention with the Mimic Beacon. Because I want to avoid civilians getting killed. So if I can put the uh, Mimic Beacon inside of the building there. There we go. All the way in the back. I don't have a shot anyway, so that's fine. Um, I should reload Erica with the free reload. And then put it on uh, kill zone. So like... Oh yeah, that there goes the frame rate. But uh, this entire building and its sides... There we go, that should be fine. Then the spark unit, I could charge in there, but I'm not going to do that. Um, let's just pull everybody closer as well. I can put Marina right behind the spark unit. And then Hilda can go over here. I'm hoping she doesn't spot anything else from there. She might actually spot the Berserker. No. Okay. Um, so that means we have one more Overwatch shot with Sparky. And that's about it. And there comes a Berserker. And two Chrysalids. But we get our first Cone of Fire shot. Kill zone shot. And that seems like a hit. Yeah, eight damage on the Berserker. She probably might be able to uh, hit the two chrysalids as well. Though she doesn't see those yet. And there's another berserker on the left. But we got a uh, shot from Sparky. That is very loud, but nine damage. There we go. Berserker hit in the face. And there's... Ooh, two specters. Okay. But I think those guys... Oh no, she's going to take uh, a kill zone shot on that one. And they get uh, lightning reflexes when they uh, are transformed. Or not. Okay. She doesn't shoot at them yet. And then of course the... Damn. So there's three berserkers on the field. Advent isn't backing off. They've got units in the AO that are ignoring our forces just to get a better shot at the civilians. Take those bastards down. Oh, that was a miss. Too bad. Because that was our second... No, that's, no, that's our second shot. And um, yeah, there we go. Mimic Beacon gets hit, but that's good. That's what we wanted. And then the face is probably going to try and take a, a swipe at it as well. But that Codex doesn't want to move. Okay, we lost our first civilian, which... Uh, our second civilian. But that's not too bad considering the circumstances. So he's going to... Haha, he's going to move. That's probably not his best choice there. And it gets damaged, but not killed. That's probably not good. That looks horrifying, by the way. Um, is he gonna... What is he gonna do? Um, okay, is he just moving? I mean, you can't do that twice, right? Yeah, okay, he just moved. Good. Good. So now, the resistance fighters are reloading. If they can take out a few of those Codex fragments, that would be nice. There we go. And then maybe even the other one, if you please. Because that, I think, is the only one that's left. Because I killed the other one with a sniper rifle shot. And that Berserk is almost down for the count as well. But there's a lot of enemies on the field. We can't forget about that. 
Uh, that might be the Berserker down if he hits. There we go. So there's two Chrysalids over there, two Spectres on the side, and two Berserkers left. But they are laying down some fire, which is good. He might actually kill the faces now. There we go. Okay, that's good. Then we don't need to worry about all of that. Everything's going well. Only two civ civilians down so far. And we're trimming down the aliens to size. But not that I'm asking for it. But where's the... <laughs> where's the, uh, the... You know, the hunter. Thought he was going to pop up in a second. But... First things first, uh, we need to spot those chrysalids as well, because those chrysalids are going to be trouble. So let's move Hilda to the side here. And she spots something. That's a 90% shot on a chrysalid. Um, we also have Emily who has sight on a spectre right now. And she could even go closer if she wanted to. But, first things first, let's reload. I don't know if that's still a free reload. I don't know if it's an advanced reload. It is. So that means I can actually shoot with Erica from over here as well. But, I have another plan. We have uh, something fancy. Well, we actually have two fancy things over here. First things first. Uh, Marina and Sparky form a sort of uh, unbreakable duo, but... I think... If I aim this correctly... I can actually hit... Ah, that doesn't hit on the floor, does it? It doesn't, but I can fire it like this. And it takes out the cover of both the Spectre and the Berserker and damages them both. So, Shred Storm Cannon it is. Storm's coming. Yeah, Storm's coming. Blamo! So there we go. They're trimmed down to size. Then... Let's see, we have a shot at that chrysalid even, but I'm not going to take that shot. I'm going to take the shot at the Spectre, the 77%. Or that Berserker 71? No, the 77. I'm going to go for the pretty sure kill here. So Erica from across the world. And we get a get miss. That's a costly one. Okay, fair enough. So the spark unit could technically perform three actions. I can reload her for free. Like that. Then we have three shots. One of them is wide out in the open. But I also have the blaster bomb still with me. And I'm wondering if I can position that somehow to, yeah, hit all three. Now, I'm first going to go into overdrive. There we go. Then I'm going to use the blaster bomb to aim that up here. That should kill or at least kill the top two. There we go. Blaster bomb down range. And it is the bit that actually fires it, which is really cool. A blammo. So that's a double kill. And the spectre lost is um, cover over there. So if I now fire at the spectre... There we go. Critical down the face. And then I think I can even put it on Overwatch now. There we go. Then we can still... Hmm, what else do we have? We still have Emily and Hilda. I could run and gun Emily. Which is, I think, what I'm going to do. So let's put Emily over here. I love that Emily is British. She just sounds so great. And there's the other chrysalid. I could actually kill that one. Yeah, let's try that one. The one in the back. Oh, and we miss. That is another costly miss. But I'm gonna hope that they're gonna go... Oh, I, got a, I get a hair trigger action. Okay, then I'm gonna have, gonna have to go for the same one again. There we go. That's one down. I'm not going to get another free action, I suppose. Um, but, oh, we still have... Aha! Uh -huh. We still have Elena as well. Moving out. And Elena could technically even banish if I want to finish this immediately. But we're going to keep this a little bit more exciting. So let's fire at the chrysalid. That's a dodge, but we do get shredding. Which means that if Hilda hits her 90% shot, it's a kill. 
Here we go. And we got a graze. Yeah, indeed. So, uh, there we go. Oh, the, he goes for civilians. Uh-oh, that's chrysalid poison. That's not good. Oh, there was still a berserker alive. I forgot about that one. Yeah. Okay. But I'm guessing that one chrysalid... Ooh. Ooh. Crap. I forgot about... Oh, god damn it. There was still a codex fragment alive. That was really hard to keep track of. Uh, only three, three people lost their weapons, though, so that's fine. Uh, and it's only just now Chrysalid Berserker and uh, Codex, so we should be... Don't run in there! No, what are you doing? That's gonna blow up in a second. Oh, and she misses the point-blank Chrysalid. Can I actually heal those resistance fighters? Because she's gonna die if I don't heal her. That Chrysalid Poison is gonna murder her. Don't stand in the circle, you fools! At least the codex is down. <laughs> Don't stand in the circle. Uh, and we got another shot on the berserker. Yeah, he's getting angry. That could reduce will, but ah, crap. No place for you to go now. Was that a very high-powered zombie that just popped out of that corpse? Why was that happening immediately? Or that's just... Oh yeah, okay, so that's just the health bar of the cocoon. Fine. Okay, so now it's our turn to strike back. Um, who has an autoloader? I don't think... No. Um, Marina doesn't have an autoloader, but Marina has explosives. So let's just move her... You know what? Let's move Hilda a little bit closer to the chrysalid. Uh, cover doesn't really matter against Chrysalid, so let's just okay? go out. Unless, of course, she spots something else, but I would think that most of the aliens would have reacted by now. Ah, oh, that cocoon is going to be annoying, but 99% chance. Murderize that thing, and we get a free action. Okay, fine. I think Hilda isn't used to getting free actions because she's just standing still. Okay, um, now... We can move around here, so we have a shot on the Berserker. I don't know if it's going to end if the Berserker dies, because I have a really good shot at him from here. 52% uh, chance on a critical. There we go. I feel like Talon Rounds are bugged. Because Talon Rounds almost always give me... Okay, so I'm still getting... Yeah, since that cocoon is still on the field, it's requiring me to do something with that. Okay, that's fine. Fair enough, I guess, so let's just move over here with Elena, reload, and I will destroy the cocoon or the zombie in the next turn, so uh, see you guys in a second. So first shot on the cocoon, we're still in the same turn by the way, because I still had a few shots left. Uh, that's an 8 damage shot, so that's a good start. I don't think we'll be able to kill it this turn, which means that it either is going to spawn a zombie. That was even a miss on a stationary object. Missed. Yeah, I missed. Okay. That was a bit weird, but... Can we launch an acid bomb on top of it? We actually can. There, there was one, one thing I could do. No, I can't seem to reach her properly, so uh, I'm just gonna reload. Go. And then the final shot with Hilda. With her new uh, fancy rifle. Just 7 damage, it doesn't do anything else. And then the bomb explodes. Yeah, taking that guy and that guy. But those guys actually got a health boost as well, it seems. Because usually they would die after that. They're still alive. Um, is that going to spawn a zombie? No. Okay, so then the resistance is probably going to finish off the cocoon. Okay, apparently the remaining resistance fighters didn't really care, so they didn't even move on the cocoon. It is growing, which is cool. I've never seen that in XCOM 2. I usually kill chrysalids immediately, so they don't get a chance to even do this. But it is cool to see it grow like that. Because it is changing. I mean, we want to go out with style points, right? And style points just means, in my case, just use banish on the cocoon. And what do three, four, five, six shots on the cocoons? And it's going to get blood trail in a minute as well. So that's just going to keep going. There it goes. Flawless. There are no other hostile contacts on the scope. 
Good work out there. Flawless and we only lost four civilians, so that's really, really good for a retaliation mission. And back home. So that was a pretty successful mission. I don't know if it called promotions out of that, which was basically the, the main idea for this mission. One promotion for the Spark unit. Uh, so yeah, that was too bad, but at least, wow. The Spark unit got 12 kills in two missions already. Um, pretty good. Uh, so we get Rainmaker, equipped heavy weapons, deal plus two damage and have an increased area of effect. What? That's cool. Or strike, attack an enemy within movement range with a powerful melee attack. I want to have both of that, please. Um, I want to see that melee attack as well, because melee attacks on Max have been uh, really awesome so far in XCOM. In XCOM Enemy Within, the melee attack, the, the boosted melee punch was really cool with the mech, um, punching people back even. So the strike seems like something I really want to try. But Rainmaker is really good as well. Equipped heavy weapon steal, two extra damage, and increased area of effect. With the Shredstorm Cannon, that would be really cool, because that, I think, widens the cone, making you able to uh, kill a lot of enemies in one go. Um, so I think I'm going to go for Rainmaker first, and maybe use some ability points to go for Strike as well. I don't know if I can use ability points on Max, by the way, on the Spark units. We'll see. We got two Codex Brains, 15 rescued civilians, and the corpses of everything on the field. Excellent work, Commander. Thank you. Your efforts continue to bolster the resistance movement across the globe. And we saved 15 civilians, so times three, that means 45 supplies on top of what we already got from Eastern Europe, which is really, really good, because uh, in five days we get our next supply drop. And what's even better is that Hilda and Erika can actually improve their soldier bond to the max, and they're going to be gone for six days, but that's just uh, really good. Because a dual strike with a sharpshooter and a specialist, that's going to be really, really fancy. There we go. What does that icon mean? Because that usually means there's, there's negative traits going on. Are they training or what is that? Uh, let's see over here if I can actually use... I can actually re use my ability points. Um, retrain. Oh no, that's resetting. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, wait, it's that train abilities options at the bottom, right? Yeah, oh no. Ah, we can't retrain abilities with spark units. Okay, I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. So that means I'm locked out of the... Um, hmm, I'm locked out of the, the melee punch now. Which is sad, but yeah, it is what it is. I would have assumed that you can't use ability points on max. It kind of makes sense, uh, lore-wise, but... We were scanning these uh, power fluctuations down here to get some intel. Once we're done with that, we can move to... Hmm. I'm trying to gather intel so we can go to the black market, but I think I need five days scanning at the black market. Choose a target, pick up their trail, and then... When the time uh, is Hunter? Right, I strike without warning. No, you didn't. Think of it as mercy. Most of them don't even have time to notice they're dead. That's all right. I'm sure I'll get another chance soon enough. So the hunter failed the sabotage, which is really good. Uh, I don't know why that happened, but I'm happy with it. And then we get the plasma blaster as a, a heavy powered weapon. So using technology adapted from the alien zone plasma weaponry, we've devised a means of releasing a massive focus pulse of plasma energy that will devastate targets in a fixed path. So that's, I think, one line, which is not that useful, but at least we have that in the bag now. Strategic resource located. Intel complete. I'm just going to press OK. I think... Ooh. A heavy weapon over there. But in two days we're getting our supply drop. So I think I just want to go find the black market again. So we're going to scan two days at the black market. Then get our supply drop. And then move back to the black market. There we go. 545 supplies. Against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. So we've done a lot and the aliens haven't done a lot. So only two avatar progress, one facility and one dark event. So that's really low on the alien side. We covered a lot of ground and we killed another Chosen this month. But we're still not done with the Chosen. Of course, we still have the Hunter and I don't know. He's probably going to go to his next knowledge level. Oh no, he didn't. Uh, but he is planning to increase his training. So we're going to have to be careful about that. Um, the dark events. There's a risk of ambush on all covert actions. Don't really care. 
The aliens scramble the Avengers radio signals, greatly increasing all scanning times for six weeks. Ooh, that is not good. That is not good. I want to block that one because that's going to be really, really annoying. Um, other than that, I think I'm going to save up. I need that ballistics modeling since I still haven't done the uh, research for the sniper rifle, the plasma lance. So I think I'm going to keep it like this for now. And uh, we'll see next month what we can change up. Because this one we're going to change and probably... Uh, ooh, wait wait a second. Contact with new regions is made instantly. We have a lot of supplies now. So I think I wanted to contact immediately. So yeah, ballistics modeling. I'm just going to remove it. Uh, so let's remove that card and swap it out with contact with regions is made instantly. There we go. So we can start expanding again this month. Uh, everything else seems to be fine. Intel rewards increased by 10%. PCS effects would also be good, but I think I'm going to wait until next month to do that. Uh, so this is good. You are the boss. And then 545 Avenger supplies. Right next to the black market even. It's in... Uh, what is that? Um, I think that's Iceland, right? So let's grab all that. Commander, there were a few wounded during the latest covert action. But after a few days rest, everyone will be ready to get back out there. But Sarah and Elisabetta were successful in infiltrating the stronghold of the hunter. So we now know where we can uh, kill him. I'm not going to do that immediately. Way into the chosen stronghold, Commander. Our troops are ready to deploy. We should launch a strike as soon as possible. We've got a shot at hitting the Elders hard, something we haven't tried before. You up for it, Commander? So again, no way to recruit a skirmisher, which is really, really sad. I think I'm never going to have a skirmisher in this playthrough, but um, you know what? So we're going to go for alien loot again with Jessica and Lisbeth. Nothing really problematic here, so let's just confirm that action. Let's get ourselves some more, more Illyrium cores. I kind of forgot about it. But of course, there's nothing going on in the Proving Ground right now, so uh, let's check that out. So we have the Illyrium Core and we have the Serpent stuff from the Viper King, so let's just make the Serpent Suit. The Archon Autopsy is also complete, which means we finally can discover... Uh... So there we go, we have now the research available to make the Plasma Lance. And we get the Fusion Blade and the Fusion Rip Jack, which is also going to be good. So we basically get the Plasma variant of the melee weapons. Look at that, the fusion blade encases a plasma heated metallic core in a micro tin magnetic field, enabling devastating melee attacks that are capable of setting enemies aflame. So we finally have basically uh, an alternative to the katana. But we have a technology breakthrough, laboratory construction. We must begin researching laboratory construction immediately. I don't think that's interesting. We'll reduce the overall cost of laboratory construction. We're so far along the research tra trajectory that I don't really care about that. So that means, since we don't have anything else, we're going to go for Plasma Lance. I will send word as soon as we have something of note. 11 days is really slow, but in 11 days we have Plasma r Sniper Rifles. So that's just, that's just worth, ev worth everything. There we go. Supply drop done. So let's head back towards the black market. New the bomb is probably going to be done between Hilda and Erika. Which is also really nice. Uh, but other than that... We get the serpent suit. Look at that. That is really fancy. Constructed from the lightweight and exceptionally durable scales of the Viper King. The serpent suit greatly enhances a soldier's reflexes and speed. It also features a grapple mechanism infused with the Viper King's frigid venom, which can be used to pull enemies out of cover and freeze them in place. What? Serpent armor. Ah, it reinforced with delirium and then... Ah, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. So the normal Warden armor gives us 6 health and 1 armor. The Serpent Suit gives us 5 health and 0 armor. But we get uh, an extra 35 to dodge and 1 extra point of ability. And there's some abilities attached to this as well. So adds mobility and increased chance of taking grazing shots instead of outright hits. Has a wrist mounted grapple which can be used for traversal pull enemy units out of their thing. So that's really good. Frostbite. Lash an a target with your grapple, freezing them in place. Advent humanoid targets may also be pulled out of cover. So that's freezing and pulling out of cover in this, at the same time, which is really cool. Wearing this armor has a chance to panic vipers encountered in armor uh, in, in combat. So 
Yeah, even though we have one less armor, Heidi is basically untouchable half of the time anyway. So let's give her that suit. I want to just see how that looks. Look at that! It looks I'm ridiculous. I'm not sure how much of this armor is new material and how much of a Tigan cut right out of the Viper itself. We haven't exactly tested it either, so good luck out there. It looks downright glorious. Look at that. That is... It looks similarly ridiculous. It even has a little scarf. Oh, this is the best. This is the best. Heidi's going to rock this serpent suit in uh, the, the coming mission. Be sure of that. And I can't, of course, forget there's still nothing in the Proving Grounds uh, being made anymore. So do I make one of those raid suits? That would be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, but I could also go for some experimental grenades. But I think the only ones I'm still missing is the poison grenade and the incendiary grenade. Uh, and I basically have what I want to have. I don't know what's underneath the experimental armor stuff. I want to check that out, actually. Uh, and other than that, we can still make extra spark units if you want. Uh, but for now, I want to make one more of those experimental armor thingies. We'll Okay, almost done scanning at the black market, but I think the Avatar project is going up again. And that is one. One. And we get a covert action done. And to a lead him course for our trouble. So let's put Erika and Hilda on the uh, ability points mission. So we get 16 ability points from that. And Erika is going to have four aim extra on top of that as well. There's no risk involved, so, involved, so uh, there we go. And then we get the black market back finally. So let's have a little checky looky over here. We can actually spend quite a lot of intel on huh, 140 supplies. That trade-off is usually worth it, worth it. Ooh. Ooh. Rush research on the plasma lands. Yeah, definitely. There we go. And then the 140 supplies I'm going to take as well. Uh, so that leaves us with 161 intel. Which is pretty good, because I want to place another... So where do we have... So this one has a radio tower. And we went up until here. So if I want to make a tower over here, that costs me 300 supplies. I'm going to go for it. Setting course for sector one. So that's 300 supplies out of my pocket, but... That's going to come in handy now, isn't it? So there we go. Uh, the research on the plasma lens is now only three days anymore. So I might get that even sooner or we might get a mission. Oh, we do get the red glare again. That just means the facility is done probably because we're two weeks Commander, further along. We want to set back the aliens work on the Avatar Ooh. project. We should hit one of their facilities as soon as possible. So that's two more bars of Avatar project progress there, but... I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do. Yeah, this is awesome. This is just really awesome. Plasma Lance and Shadow Lance. So that's the ooh, the vector rifle variant. Although the Reaper object Reapers object to the use of alien technology in principle, we have assured them that beam weaponry under development here is of our own design. Regardless of their objections, the energy-based vector rifle is without question superior to any past variant they have ever wielded. And then of course the plasma lance. Psyonix is inspired, so let's just go with that immediately. I agree. That is an important task. And then, then, yeah, I know there's a bond, bond ready to do, but I'm not going to do that. Because uh, I just want to want to go to engineering. Orders, Commander? Yes, yes, definitely new orders. Because under weapons, we can now actually, oh yeah, we need to build that as well. So that's 310 supplies on top of one another. I'm definitely going for it. Uh, and I can actually do the fusion blade now as well. Because making contact only costs intel, so that's going to be fine, I think. We'll probably get some more fancy things in the in the future. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. We can actually make more serpent armor if we want to. Um, ah, this is actually an enhanced version of the serpent armor. What happens if I buy this as well? I'm, I just went through all my supplies, which is probably not good. But um, if we now go to the armory... Oh yeah, it increased the health boost to 7, so from 5 to 7, mobility from 1 to 2, and dodge from 35 to 40. So that is, or from 25 to 40 even, that is really, really good. Even though we don't have armor, that's just 17 health on top of everything else. Um, the only downside is, is that we only can take one item with us. Um, but that is fine, I guess. 
The shadow lands also now goes to... Wait a second. That's five to six. That is not... Wait a second. So Temnotic went... To... Oh, okay. So we don't have a damage change because the Temnotic rifle is a magnetic weapon and we got the automatic damage boost on magnetic weapons from one of those previous researches. So that's sad. So no damage boost there, but... Uh, yeah, at least... Yeah, we got the upgrade. It's, it doesn't do anything now, but fair enough. Okay. So, I get the experimental armor complete. Let's take a quick look at the Proving Grounds. I'm gonna make another Spark Unit. I mean, I have the resources for it. Might as well, although I might not have... No, <laughs> I'm out of supplies. Never mind, I'm out of supplies. I'm gonna put the Proving Grounds on hold for now, because I don't need to do anything over here. Covert action complete, so we need to do another one. I think I'm gonna reduce the Avatar Project progress now and we can't Ooh, we can't negate the risk this is going to be exciting not a good chance to get a soldier captured let's see how that works and then we're not getting a mission at all which means since we have such a good setup the next thing i'm going to do is actually the codex brain coordinates so uh next time i'm going to take a little break hope you guys enjoyed this episode but next time we're going to the codex brain coordinates another very very big mission so before that taking a little break so thank you guys enormously for watching hope you guys enjoyed this episode of XCOM 2 the Valkyrie playthrough and I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching and goodbye